Hey guys. Well, about a month ago, I mentioned doing a servo motor upgrade on my Precision Matthews using the ClearPath servo motors. I was a little hesitant to go ahead and make the purchase because I had a lot of projects going on around the house and I had some upcoming training for work that I needed to go out of town for. And so it's going to be several weeks before I was able to get to it. So I just decided to hold off on purchasing the servo motors, which actually worked out really well because that gave me an opportunity while I was out of town to do some research on other options other than ClearPath. And I came across DMM Technology, Dynamic Motor Motion. Now this company is based out of Canada and they make industrial servo motors and drives for industrial automated equipment. Over the past 20 years, I've been working with this type of automated equipment using various manufacturers, servo motors and drives. And after looking at the features of the DYN 4 series AC servo drive, I decided to go with this particular servo motor and drive in lieu of the clear path. Now, some of the things that led me to this decision are from a maintenance background. I've never really been fond of the integrated components and I wasn't really crazy about that with the clear path servos. Having the drive and the motor integrated, uh, it makes fault isolation difficult. With the separate components, you can simply swap the motor to a different drive or the drive to a different motor to isolate the fault between the drive or the motor. Once you find the problem component, then you can simply replace it. However, with the integrated components, you just have to replace the whole thing. So, I never really just been fond of that, that type of uh, equipment. Some of the features that I like about these particular drives, they're number one, they're AC servo drives. They can be powered by 110 volt single phase, 220 volt single phase, or 230 volt three phase. So it gives you a lot of variety in terms of wiring up your control panel. This drive also has the ability to output the encoder signal. So if you have CNC software that can take advantage of that, you can get real time absolute DROs. It has a 16-bit encoder. It can be ran on an analog signal. It can be ran with step and direction, just like a stepper motor. It has RS-232 Modbus and CAN communication. And it has integrated point-to-point S-curve motion. It has what dynamic motor motion calls dynamic target positioning update. It can start to update the target position for the next move while executing the current command. Um, this makes for a lot smoother and a lot faster servo drive. And this is all handled internally. And you can read up on all this and in, in for yourself. The DYN 4 series drives has a simple quick setup guide. It also has a auto tuning feature and software to use to uh, auto tune your drives. And I'll go through in a future video, I'll go through the drive setup once I get everything wired up. So stay tuned for that. Now the price of these servo drives and motors are right in line with uh, other manufacturers. Dynamic Motor Motion has recently put out a NEMA 34 size motor, which is the one I'll be using. These servo motors are 0.75 kilowatt or 750 watts, which is one horsepower. One thing that I like about these servo motors, their max speed is 5,000 RPM. At 5,000 RPMs running my RM2005 ball screws, I potentially have rapids at close to a thousand inches per minute. Now, of course, on my machine, I probably won't even approach anywhere near that. Um, I'll probably try to keep it around 
three to four hundred inches per minute for my rapids uh, just to try to keep myself out of trouble but for larger machines this would definitely be uh, beneficial uh, you can see they have three different drives based upon the servo motor capacity uh, $218 for the drive and for the particular servo motor that I'm going to be going with it's $195 so you're looking at a little over $400 per motor uh, which is right in line with what I was going to pay for with the clear path uh, remember you don't need a external power supply for this this runs strictly off of AC power so taking that into to account uh, these are all about the same price but these drives have additional features that are not offered on the clear path so let's take a look and we'll see what I chose to go with I'm going to be using three of the NEMA 34.75 kilowatt or one horsepower AC servo motors I'm using the same motor on each axis next we're going with uh, a USB tuning cable you just need one of these this is used to tune all the drives and servo motors uh, next we need three drive to breakout board cables uh, these are a four pin on one end and a DB25 on the other three of these and these are only like three feet long you don't need them to be that long uh, next we're going to need three encoder cables these are five meters there's two different types but this type is for our drive so make sure you get the one for the H drive and we need three power cables again five meters and there are two different ones for the power cables again get the one for the H drive uh, next we're going to need three of the DYN4 AC drives these are the H model rated from 0.75 kilowatt to 1 kilowatt and so that brings our total to 1562 which is right in line with clear path and other servo motor shipping is about the same for both uh, so very reasonable I went ahead and placed the order for all these DMM servos and drives as well as some AC contactors and things I'm going to need for a new control panel uh, a new electronics enclosure is on the way and buttons and switches and lots of little goodies uh, so in the next video I'll go over the enclosure layout design as well as the wiring if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment if you're interested in dynamic motor motion servos and drives I'll post the link in the video description if you're interested in my CNC conversion plans you can stop by and visit the website thanks for watching guys please subscribe and most importantly be safe